guys, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day so far. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I do this Nezuko inspired makeup look. I've got makeup, I've got hijab. I originally posted this on Instagram and y'all went crazy for it. Thank you so, so much for all the love. But yeah, without further ado, let's just jump straight into this video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start off by priming my eyelids and I'll be using the Marc Jacobs primer. Once that's done, it's time for eyeshadow. So I'm gonna pick up the shade Love from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette and place that all over the lid and kind of like winging it out at the end. So it's almost like kind of reminiscent of like the emo days, but this time it's pink. I pretty much want the color to cover my entire lid and have a sharp little wing on the end. Once that's done, it's time to deepen the color a little bit. So I'll be dipping into the shade Love Letter from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. I'm just gonna focus that color on the wing and gradually start building it inward. So it starts off, you know, dark on the outside and lighter on the inside. Next up, I'm grabbing this pink shimmery shade from the Etude House Backstage Lingerie palette. And I'm just gonna pop that in the center of the eye and slightly lean towards the inner corner of the eye, but not really touching the inner corner of the eye, if that makes any sense. Unfortunately, this is one of those steps you can't really see on camera, but in photos and in person, it looks damn good. Now that's done, it's time for a little bit of eyeliner. So I'm going back to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette and I'm dipping into the shade Cypress Umber. And I'm just gonna be using that to line my eyes very, very lightly, you know, focusing more on the ends. So I've got a nice sleek little wing, but I'm using it to generally outline the rest of my eye, but I'm keeping it very thin everywhere else. All the focus is on the ends. Now I'm just gonna intensify the eyeliner just a little bit because we will be putting on lashes. So I'm using the Secret Key Brown Skinny Liner, kind of where I did the eyeshadow liner, but I won't be bringing it to my inner corners because I wanna keep it mainly focused on the ends. Also, I recently started tight lining my eyes, which honestly makes the world of difference. It feels uncomfortable, but honestly, it is worth it. So I'll be tight lining using the Idol Waterproof Eye Pencil in the shade Brown. And now it's time just to brighten the eyes up and make them look a little bit bigger. So I'll be grabbing the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk and just popping that in my inner water lines. I'm just gonna dip into Cypress Umber from earlier and just run it along the ends of my lashes, mainly focusing on the end rather than the inner corner because I just wanna create a bit more depth and dimension. Next up, it's time for lashes. So I'm gonna curl them and use the Heroin Makeup Volume and Curl Mascara. Honestly, one of the best mascaras out there. It gives you curl, it gives you definition. And on top of that, it stays on all day. I mean, it's a little hard to take off, but honestly, it's worth it. And then after that, I'm just gonna pop on some falsies. The ones that I'm using are the MAC and Pony Effect Collaboration Lashes. Honestly, prettiest lashes ever. Very light, very pretty, very fluttery. Now it's time for the final touch which literally makes your eyes look amazing and it's these pink contact lenses the ones that i'm wearing are the eos new adult pink lenses from pinky paradise they last a year and oh my god honey do they look good you guys know i used to be the worst at using contact lenses but now i'm like somewhat of a pro and these are just mwah, bellissimo a little bit of asmr but yeah, honestly, love them. Okay, so now we move on to the rest of the face. I'm gonna start off with some foundation. Honestly, I forgot primer, but let's be honest, I don't always use primer. So I'm using the Misha Cushion Foundation in the shade 27. Once my foundation is on, it's time for my concealer. You guys know I literally use the same concealer all the time. It's the NARS Creamy Radiant or Radi Radi Ray. What am I saying? The NARS Radiant Con Creamy Concealer. Okay, you guys know what I'm trying to say. Either way, it's in the shade Custard. I will link it down below because clearly I'm losing my words now. And now it's time for a little bit of contour and bronzing. So I'll be using the MUA foundation stick in the shade F14. And you guys know the deal with this. I put it on my cheekbones, I put it on my forehead, and I put it on like my chin and jawline area to make me look a little bit snatched. And now it's time for my favorite part, the blush. So for blush, I'll be using the Sugar Ball Cushion Blush in the shade 4. I'm gonna pop that all over my cheeks and blend, blend. Also put a little bit on my nose. And then to add just a little bit more blush, I'm gonna dip into this It Cosmetics Je Ne Sais Quoi blush. Next up, it's time to powder my under eyes. So I'll be using the Bobbi Brown Sheer Finish Press Powder in the shade Soft Sand. 
And then finally, it's time for some highlight. I'll be using my forever favorite Bobbi Brown highlighter in the shade Sunset Glow. It just gives you a nice rosy sheen to your face. Now that the face is finished, it's time for brows and I'll be going in with the Bobbi Brown Boy Brow in the shade Black. Honestly, I feel like this does nothing for my brows because this is pretty much finished, but it makes me feel better that I've just ran it through my brows, so there's that. So for lips, I'll be using the MAC and Pony Effect Lip Mousse in the shade Cordian Blue or Cordon Blue. I don't, I don't know what it's called, but I'm using that and I'm blending it all over my lips. Now, honestly, if you use this color as it is, it can be quite bright. So I like to just blend it out with my fingers just so it looks a bit more natural and a little bit more diffused. And then to finish off the lips, I'll be using the Zahara Liquid Lip in the shade Boss just in the center of my lips and blending it out using my finger so we have a nice ombre effect. So I'm just going to go and get changed and bring my stuff so I can show you guys how I do the hijab style. This hijab style is honestly the easiest thing ever. I literally grab the scarf, pop it on my head, pin down one of the sides nearish my eyebrow and I'm just going to clip on a bow and that is literally it. Honestly, one of the easiest hijab styles ever. guys that brings to the end of the video i really hope you guys enjoyed this nesco inspired mick look and also hijab look fun fact i'm actually going to comic con this weekend in two days and i haven't sorted out my outfit i'm actually cosplaying as nesco because i love her she just what a what a delight what an actual delight but yeah i looked online for costumes and i didn't really like them so i thought you know what let me try and make one myself i don't know what i was thinking because i've never made a kimono before in my life i'm like i just <laughs> I never tried this and now suddenly two days before I'm like, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna do this. So yeah, we're gonna see how that goes. I will be filming the whole ordeal. So if it works out, great. If it doesn't, then not so great, but you'll still see it regardless. Also, if there's any anime or manga characters you'd like me to do, please leave them down below. But I really enjoy doing cosplay looks. I've done a few on my Instagram and your girl has been having fun. So yeah, if there's anyone you'd like me to do like videos for, let me know down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful for you guys. Make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram at Like I post loads of cool pictures on there. And also when I do go to Comic-Con, I'll be posting everything on there first before videos be popping up everywhere. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.